It's been quite a while since I've made a Japan video, so today let's take a look at one of the largest tech stores that Tokyo has to offer. This is Yodobashi Akiba, an electronics store with over 600,000 square feet of retail space that has a wide selection of basically everything. We're talking laptops, game consoles, cameras, smartphones, even rice cookers and refrigerators. You name it, they probably sell it. I'm gonna show y'all around in just a little bit. But what really fascinates me about Yodobashi Akiba is that the whole existence of it is really f***ing smart. Let's talk about the location. Akihabara is a central hub for all things games and anime, but at a point, it was also the spot for electronics, computers, and appliances. I actually made a video about this town about a year and a half ago on the channel, so if you're curious, definitely check that out. But it makes sense to open up a store filled with technology in a place where people are actually interested in it. In fact, it's actually right behind me up there. There is also the fact that Yodobashi is right next to JR Akihabara Station, which is a major transport hub for people coming in, out, and through East Tokyo. I just walked out of the station and literally, this is the view. This store is massive. It really should be no surprise that Yodobashi is busy all year round, but let's go in and see what the store is all about. All right, walking in to Yodobashi Akiba. Walking through the first floor of Yodobashi, it's super interesting, right? Because it is on the ground level and you get a lot of foot traffic. But also that means Yodobashi puts out all of the stops to kind of decorate it in a way that tries to draw your attention to literally everything. Like it is super sensory overload with deals and product displays, loud music, everything super well lit too, which is nice. Yeah, this store is kind of crazy. It should be no surprise that there is a lot to look at, whether you're actually looking to buy something or just window shop. In fact, uh, take a look at this. There is nine floors of things to look at, which is absolutely insane. I'm gonna try my best to show you at least a good amount of what's actually here. If I'm being honest, at least for me, the first floor is a bit of a tourist trap, but there is a lot of really cool stuff to look at. Like for example, right next to me here is a mini Apple store. And to my right, there's some Windows products. Right in front of me, there's a Google Pixel display. It's just a lot of things that I think normal consumers would probably just want to buy. There's also a lot of easy access items on this first floor as well, like smartphone cases, battery banks, chargers, you know, things that people would probably want to run into the store for without having to go through multiple floors to, you know, go grab the item and check out. At least it's all available on this first floor and that's super cool. Also, I should note that I am here on New Year's Day, which most stores are usually closed on this day, but Yodobashi has a lot of sales and it's also one of the only stores that's this big that's open, which means you got a lot of people here. So we're gonna be weaving around a lot of foot traffic today. <laughs> All of the escalators have crazy advertising on it. Hey, look at this. All right, second floor of Yodobashi, we have PC peripherals, liquor, stationery, and trolley cases. Oh my God, that's so loud. <laughs> These guys are actually promoting a lot of things that are heavily discounted. And they also have grab bags that you know you pay whatever lump sum of money and it'll have some goodies in it that are within a category of tech that you're looking for, which could be kind of cool or kind of bad. I would assume kind of bad. <laughs> Second floor of Yodobashi is really cool because it has a wide variety of things that I'm interested in, namely PC stuff. Look at this. So they got, as you would imagine, a wide array of PC components from graphics cards to CPUs to cases, coolers, pretty much whatever you need, you can find it here. Now, to be fair, shopping for PC components in Japan is a little weird. I think a lot of their pricing is honestly more expensive than what we see in the States. And Yodobashi's selection, while it is extensive enough, 
I think if you actually go to Akihabara proper, you'll probably find more stuff. But if you just wanted to shop in one store and buy literally everything, you got it here. A common theme with Yodobashi that I really like is how granular the selection can get. So here in the networking section, you have things for cable management, or if you need to splice your own ethernet cables together, you got that as well. You have things to hide your cable runs. And this is just for networking, it's one whole aisle. Speaking of granular, we have some LEDs here, which aren't just normal diodes. These are things that you would actually replace on your motherboard if, say, a status light were to die. And they come in a bunch of different colors. Jeez, this is kind of ridiculous. The second floor also has a lot of printing stuff. So anything from paper stocks to ink, actual printers themselves, and even the old Japanese special, the fax machine. They still sell these. In fact, they sell them in troves. Look at this. Wow. This one looks like it does a lot of stuff. <laughs> To be fair, a lot of these are probably also mixed printers and copiers as well. But the fact that fax machines are still an advertised thing here is something that I think is pretty unique to Japan. Man, this second floor is so cool because it has a lot of gaming peripherals like headsets, keyboards. But if we venture even deeper past all of the bigger brands, you can actually find keyboards from smaller brands that some of you might be familiar with, like Nufi, Keychron, RealForce is down the hall over there, and it's all available in a brick and mortar store. You just want to try it in person. You don't have to do any of the guesswork for the switches or anything. It's just here in front of you to try out. Try before you buy. That's the beauty of brick and mortar. God, I love this store. Yodobashi's selection is not just limited to technology. They also have hella stationary stuff like pens, paper, notebooks. This second floor is honestly kind of random, but really cool at the same time. Here we have paper shredders, reading glasses. There's so much to look through, Jesus Christ. Let's go upstairs though. Floor three. All right, so floor number three. Honestly, this one is also a lot of what I'm into. And by what I'm into, I mean a lot of expensive stuff. And they have a lot of mechanical watches to choose from here. Like a lot of really expensive ones and good ones. And I don't know much about watches, but this wouldn't be the worst place to start. Just a couple of steps down from the watches, we have a ton of cameras. In fact, this is a thing that Yodobashi is known for. It's in their full store name, Yodobashi Camera. So you have all of the major brands, Fuji, Sony, Nikon, Canon. They also have hella stuff to customize your camera stuff with. Things like straps, filters, SD cards, cages for your camera, which I actually kind of need. You need rocket blowers to dust your lenses off or remote shutters. They have hella camera stuff here. I can honestly peruse all day, but let's move on because there's more store to look at. So this whole section is meant for people that want to do filmmaking or vlogging. So for example, they have a whole red Komodo 6K literally sitting in the hallway on a cool little tripod. And if you venture in, they have vlog cameras and vlogging accessories, things like ring lights, we have switchers, if you plan on live streaming, a whole teleprompter over here, and they have drones. Look at this. They even have a whole DJI section for all of the drones. They also have all of the cameras and even the Osmo Pocket, which I'm gonna be real, I actually did buy from here as well a couple of days ago, tax-free. I ended up saving like 150 bucks thanks to the conversion rate and the lack of local tax for being a foreigner, which is really good. This floor also has healthcare appliances. So if you need things like razors and shavers, 
They got toothbrushes over here with the crazy Oral-B display, very well lit. Prime, love that. As you can see, again, the selection of things that you can get on each floor is nuts. All right, fourth floor. Let's see what is up here. We have things ranging from TVs to audio equipment, which includes headphones, which I especially want to check out because Yodobashi's selection is really impressive. So there are hella brands to choose from here, from Final to Audio-Technica, JVC. There's just so much here. I kid you not, there are like 20 small aisles of headphones to choose from from in-ears to over-ears, wireless, whatever you're looking for. Yodabashi has quite the selection, and best of all, you can actually try everything out for yourself to see if you like it before you actually buy it. There's gonna be a lot to peruse here if I wanna take something home. <laughs> I need a new pair of headphones, guys. They even have a lot of the Chi-Fi brands, which you certainly wouldn't see in like a Best Buy or a Target. They straight up have moon drops ready for you to try and buy right on the spot. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey, Ken, these are in-ear headphones. Are you really going to try them out in public? Well, turns out you can actually go to the sales counter and grab some wipes to do a courtesy one on the headphones before you put it in your own ears and also to wipe it down after you are done. But the hospitality doesn't stop there. If you need to grab a 3.5 millimeter adapter, if your phone doesn't have a headphone jack, you can grab one for Lightning or USB-C from that same sales counter so that you can actually try things out without hesitation and walk home with the product that you actually want. Man, they even have instruments. Got some keyboards and pianos. Up ahead, they got a lot of guitars. If you just need anything, they really do have it. I mean, it should be no surprise to anyone that Japan takes their audio seriously and hi-fi here is on a whole nother level. And obviously you have brands like Sonos and JBL over there, but walk down here and things get a little crazier. You have Denon, which is a Japanese brand. Sony, Yamaha down there. You also have Marantz as well. You, the brands start to get high-end and the gear starts to get more and more ridiculous the deeper into the store you go. Then you have an actual true hi-fi section to the store. And it's just rows and rows of this stuff. Got some DACs, XLR cables, got turntables behind me. This is unreal. You got spools, spools of cable over here. If you're doing some long speaker runs, you just do your shopping here. It's all in one place. If there is a place in this world where physical media is still a thing, it is 100% Japan. And as you can see, there is a lot of physical media that you can buy here. Blu-rays left and right in this particular aisle. You can get BDXL, which will hold up to 128 gigs of data. Damn, you thought physical media is dead. It most certainly isn't. <laughs> all right, floor number five which is all about home appliances. So I never actually come up here because none of it really applies to me. It's not like I'm going to take a refrigerator or an air conditioner home. And even for little things like handbags, I can just buy in the States usually. So not really the floor for me. I'm probably just going to skip it. But if you need a refrigerator for some reason, you can get it here. Okay, well, the only thing I'm really interested with on this floor is the Toto Washlet display because if you guys don't already know, these are the Cadillac of toilet seats. Look at, oh, oh man, these things are cool. Woo, oh, the Panasonic ones are good too, but the Totos, oh boy. Let me know if you wanna see a Toto Washlet video. <laughs> these things are so rad. Whoa, this steamer looks like a radar gun or the main part of a Dyson. Wow, this looks fancy. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go up to the gamer floor. Woo -hoo. All right, so now we are on the sixth floor, AKA the best floor. So this is where all of the video games are, as well as figurines 
anything hobby related, like if you're into Gunpla, they have that as well. They have model train stuff. This is literally like the toy section of Yodobashi, and it is sweet. This whole wall here is just dedicated to puzzles. You got some peanuts. You have Jungkook from BTS as a puzzle if you want it. Oh shit, boys. Oh yeah. We got the Sanrio, but most importantly, the cinema roll. This guy's coming home. <laughs> oh, yo, this looks different. We have a whole Nintendo section, which might as well just be a whole Nintendo store. This is a huge Nintendo section. Obviously, they have aisles and aisles of games, but in addition to that, go all the way to the wall over there. It's -a me, Mario Luigi. God, this store is insane. They have so much Nintendo over here, but if you make your way to the other side of the store, you'll start to see things for PC gaming, things like headsets again and keyboards, but also accessories for the PS5 and even Xbox Series X and Series S. In fact, I think technically Yodobashi calls this their eSports department. So you'll find hella gaming monitors here, accessories, but most of the things that I can get here with as far as video games and accessories go, I can pretty much get in the States. What I really want to show you guys though, is the hobby side, because it is kind of wild. So because of Yodobashi's proximity to the Akihabara Strip, you have a lot of anime paraphernalia to peruse through if you are into collecting a lot of crap like I am. So for example, we have some Oshinoko stuff. This is one of the hot new anime from the past year. You'll even see stuff for, shout out to Austin, we got some trading card things here. So things like play mats, storage boxes, sleeves. These things are absolutely important if you like to collect. There are also a lot of gotcha figurine sets if you want to get something smaller and cheaper and want to play some odds. If camping is your hobby, Yodobashi has a whole section just for that. You can get multi-tools, firewood to make a fire out in the woods, I don't know. And you even have thermals to keep yourself warm considering that it is currently winter. Want to grill for your campsite or maybe need to keep it bright at night to keep the animals away? You get quite a lot here. Wow, dang, that's a lot of bikes. I mean, you see a lot of them here in Japan, so it doesn't surprise me that there is a whole corner of the sales floor dedicated to them. Man, this is a whole thing. They even got helmets behind me. They have a bunch of cycling gear in the back there. This is getting tiring. <laughs> Problem with a video like this is that I'm just kind of exploring and vibing. But I don't really feel like I'm adding much to the conversation. It's just, oh wow, look at this. Oh cool, look at that. All this to say, there is so much to look at here to the point where if you really wanted to, you could spend a whole day and still not see all of it. I can't stress enough that this entire store is run by one retail company. Yes, there are tech malls all over Asia that are a collection of a bunch of different businesses, but Yodobashi Akiba is one gigantic store, and I think that's what makes it unique. Okay, but saving the best for last, we have the model part of this floor, which is literally dedicated to if you have model train sets, if you want to build a model car. All of that stuff is here and they have all of the tools and bits and bobs to help you out with that. So anything from like trays and fake greenery all the way to train tracks for your model sets and cars as far as the eye can see. In fact, if I looked hard enough, I probably could find a Toyota Supra in the same color that I have it. If you're a fan of motorsports, JDM cars, or just cars in general, there are hella scale models to find here. Look at this. So all of these individual boxes are model trains of actual real ones that exist in Japan. Obviously, there are so many train lines here in this country, 
and they're absolutely proud of it. And that's why there's a huge selection here. They have like station parts too. I don't think I was ever really interested in model train building until I came to Japan. But coming to this section, every single time I'm here, it makes me want to start. I mean, good luck trying to fit a whole town and train spread in my tiny 500 square foot apartment in LA. But man, if I had the room, uh, you bet I would be dropping cash on this place. Hey, yo, it's Brian O'Connor himself. When you're here, you're family. Family. Now, as far as electronics go, that is just about what Yodabashi proper has to offer. The top two floors of this building are still operated by Yodabashi, but are more akin to an actual mall. Floor number seven is a bunch of clothing shops, including a Uniqlo and one of my favorite glasses stores, Jin, which actually helps me get glasses on the cheap because they are super expensive for me to get in the States, but they'll handle my very powerful prescription with no problem whatsoever and let me choose whatever frame I want. And with tax-free all in, I never really spend more than 150 bucks here for a pair of specs, at which point I actually just end up buying a handful because they're so cheap and I can actually accessorize with whatever I'm wearing. It's something I normally wouldn't have been able to do in the States. And if you're done with all of your shopping and just want to chill out for a bit before heading home, the eighth floor of Yodobashi has a bunch of awesome restaurants in it. It's kind of a food court with a bunch of small eateries to sit around and there's a wide selection of things to get here. And what's really cool about this place is that it's not just Japanese cuisine. They have food from all around the world here. And I'll be real, all of it that I've tried is very good. For a spot that you would think would be very tourist trappy, the restaurants are actually really high quality and and a lot of the food is actually affordable. And compared to the hectic crawl that is the Akihabara Strip, finding food here is way more chill and the lines aren't as crazy, which is really awesome to see. I've actually been to this curry naan place a lot. It is so good. Definitely recommend it if you're coming by Yodabashi for sure. And then there is the last floor, the ninth one which actually has a bunch of golf stuff, including, I believe, a sort of range and batting cages. <laughs> Look at this, a driving range and a batting cage. So let's give it a shot. So I wanna do the batting cage in particular, which looks like it's 1100 yen for three plays, which is about 60 hits. Let's go do it. I've never actually done a batting cage before, ever. Ooh, so this will be interesting, let alone at the top of a building. Well, I'm going upstairs, so maybe this is technically the 10th floor, but ooh. Oh, ooh. let's see, let's see. Thank you for using. Oh shoot, there's an actual line to do this. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to feel it now, Mr. Krabs. There we go. Two good hits this time. Two. I got two clean hits in the final one. I'll take that. Going to a batting cage is not quite the thing that people would expect to do when they go to an electronics store, but I gotta hand it to Yodabashi. They really do a good job of incentivizing you to stay in the building for as long as possible. Whew, that was fun though. Whew. Man, I wanna do more batting cages, that was sick. What's funny is that I've been in Yodobashi for about five and a half hours now. And obviously I'm filming a video which makes me being here a little bit of a longer time, but I'm really not kidding. You can spend a whole day in Yodobashi because there's so much to see, there's so much to do, you can eat a lot of food, all without even stepping in to proper Akihabara. And I think that's impressive. I don't even really know that we can call it a tech store. It's really a multi-purpose building? No, that's too boring. What a fun day. 
definitely stop by Yodabashi Akiba if you guys are visiting Japan. This place is absolutely crazy. Let me know what you think about this spot in the comments below. And otherwise, thanks for watching this video on Denki Channel. And now it's time for me to go down nine flights of escalators to get to the bottom so I can get back to my hotel and take a very long nap. The other thing about Yodabashi is that if you spend a lot of time in the store, you are going to hear the jingle of this store over and over and over again. Now for me, it's actually pretty catchy and I don't mind. In fact, I'll start bobbing my head subconsciously because it's such a bop. But if you're one to be driven crazy by repetitive sounds, you probably can't spend more than 15 minutes in the store before you lose your mind. But for me, I'm down. <laughs>